Hey everybody, this is uh, probably going to be the last video I do in this little series about the freeze dried ground beef. Um, I think by now you kind of get the picture, but um, we are trying some, uh, some enchiladas tonight. There's the beef. You've seen the process of rehydration and cooking. I just rehydrated it and added the taco seasoning and uh, then add the cheese and some and a little bit of the taco meat and, uh, and we're going to cover it in some, uh, some enchilada sauce and put it in the oven for a little bit let them uh, tortilla shells get good and uh, crispy but uh, this is the, uh, the mountain house freeze-dried ground beef that uh, I've cooked several different ways now and uh, so far nobody in my family has been able to tell the difference between the store-bought I'll call it fresh I, I don't know that it's necessarily fresh but store-bought and uh, freeze-dried so I'll finish stuffing these uh, these enchiladas up and uh, we'll come back when they're through cooking and see what everybody thinks about them so there's the finished product, enchiladas with freeze-dried beef. Very good. You like it, baby? Very much. Okay. Well, that's the deciding factor right there. As long as the wife's happy, then everybody's happy. So anyway, I hope this little series on the freeze-dried beef was helpful to somebody. Uh, I'm always interested in new meal ideas, so if you have any, let me know. But. Um, Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Just wanted to do a quick video of the the uh, last meal we're probably going to try with the freeze-dried beef. We still have quite a bit left, but this will be the last video I make of it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you found it helpful. Talk to you all later.